Good morning traders and welcome to Daily Call today Monday the 30th of April. Before we get started as always please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay let's have a look at how the week ended last week and uh, we start from Japan. Uh, the news was more of a non-event than anything else with the Bank of Japan voting uh, majority 8 to 1 to keep the monetary policy steady and maintain their current price forecast. The JPY uh, did not move much as a consequence and it was a little bit of a, a non-event as I've already mentioned. From the US, uh, GDP came in stronger than the forecasted at 2.3%, but investors uh, taking profit towards the end of the, week, uh, of the week did put the brakes on the USD as the dollar sold off on Friday to finish what was uh, a strong week for the US dollar. Most of the action came from the UK with the sterling crashing spectacularly on Friday, losing significant ground against uh, the majors. Uh, the most notable, the Aussie our own Aussie dollar, with a drop of around about 250 plus pips. Uh, GDP disappointed, coming in at 0.1%. Mr Carney in his speech highlighted that the market is perhaps getting a little ahead of itself and that uh, a decrease, uh, the, de the chances of increasing interest rates in May have now significantly dropped. So there you have it, that's what happened as the week ended last week. Time to have a look at our chart of the day. And the chart that I found for us this morning, there's actually nothing set up specifically, uh, but an interesting chart for us this morning is the US CAD on a daily time frame. We can see that uh, it's a nice rising wedge, I cut out accidentally on this chart, just I'm realizing here, but there is a th first touch outside of the screen here. This is the second touch. This is the third. So the top line is very solid. The bottom one's got two nice touches on it. So what we'll be looking for is let's see if we can uh, add this to our hot list and we may get an opportunity to trigger trades on the perimeter of this uh rising wedge so you have it us can daily time frame is our chart of the day this morning okay let's have a look at what's happening in terms of news for the session which is about to kick off we have at 11 o'clock this morning from new zealand we have the anz business confidence uh, details and also tentatively today from uh, locally from australia we have our own governor uh, low speaking for the RBA. That's pretty much wraps it up. As always, guys, please feel free to contact us. If you do have any questions, follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. Most importantly, hope you all have a fantastic trading day. For those of you who will be coming to Masterclass, I will speak to you all at 3.30 later this afternoon. Other than that, hope you have a great trading day, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.